Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Poulet Braise. Grilled or roasted chicken, often marinated in flavorful spices. Poulet Braise is a popular and delicious grilled or roasted chicken dish that is commonly found in many West and Central African countries, including Gabon. The name, Poulet Braise, translates to, grilled chicken, in French, reflecting the influence of French colonial history in the region. Here's an overview of how poulet braise is typically prepared. Marination. The chicken pieces, often with skin on and bone in for added flavor, are marinated in a flavorful mixture of herbs, spices, and sometimes a tangy sauce. The marinade may include ingredients like garlic, ginger, onions, thyme, chili, lemon or lime juice, and vegetable oil. Grilling or roasting. After marinating, the chicken is either grilled over an open flame or roasted in an oven until it is cooked through and has a charred, smoky, and golden brown appearance. The grilling or roasting process enhances the chicken's taste and gives it a delightful texture. Serving. Once the poulet braise is fully cooked, it is served hot and often accompanied by a variety of side dishes and condiments. Common accompaniments may include plantains, fries, rice, salad, or various dipping sauces. Poulet braise is a beloved and versatile dish that can be found in local markets, street food stalls, and restaurants across Gabon and other African countries. It is a popular choice for casual meals, social gatherings, and celebrations. The flavorful spices and smoky taste of poulet braise make it a mouthwatering favorite among both locals and visitors alike. Brichettes. Skewered and grilled meat, typically made with beef, chicken, or pork. Brichettes, also known as skewers, are a popular and delicious street food found in many countries around the world, including Gabon. In the context of African cuisine, including Gabonese cuisine, brichettes often refer to grilled or roasted skewers made with a variety of ingredients, such as meat, poultry, fish, vegetables, and sometimes even fruits. Here's an overview of how brichettes are typically prepared. Ingredients the choice of ingredients for brochettes can vary based on personal preference and regional availability. Common types of brochettes in Gabon may include meat, beef, chicken, pork, or even game meats like antelope or bush meat. Fish. Fresh fish, such as tilapia or catfish, is often used for fish brochettes. Vegetables. Onions, bell peppers, tomatoes, mushrooms, and other vegetables add color and flavor to the skewers. Marination. Before grilling or roasting, the meat or fish is usually marinated in a flavorful mixture of herbs, spices, and sometimes a tangy or spicy sauce. The marinade helps to tenderize the meat and infuse it with delicious flavors. Skewering. The marinated ingredients are threaded onto skewers, either metal or bamboo sticks, alternating with vegetables to create colorful and appetizing skewers. Grilling or roasting. The brochettes are then grilled over an open flame or roasted in an oven until the meat or fish is cooked through and has a beautiful charred appearance. The grilling process imparts a smoky and delicious flavor to the brochettes. Serving. Brochettes are typically served hot and may be accompanied by various side dishes, sauces, or condiments. Popular side dishes may include rice, fries, plantains, or salads. Brochettes are a beloved street food in Gabon offering a flavorful and convenient way to enjoy grilled meats or fish. They are often sold by local vendors in bustling markets and along street corners, providing a satisfying and quick snack or meal for locals and tourists alike. The variety of ingredients and flavors in brochettes make them a versatile and enjoyable street food option in Gabonese cuisine. Beignets. Fried donuts or fritters, sometimes filled with sweet or savory ingredients. Beignets are a delightful and popular type of deep-fried pastry that can be found in various cultures around the world. They are especially beloved in African countries, including Gabon. Beignets are a delicious treat often enjoyed as a breakfast item, dessert, or snack. Here's an overview of how beignets are typically prepared. Dough. Beignet dough is made from simple ingredients like flour, water, yeast or baking powder, sugar, and sometimes eggs and milk. The dough is mixed until smooth and elastic. Rising. After preparing the dough, it is left to rise for some time, allowing the yeast or baking powder to leaven the dough and create a light and fluffy texture. Shaping. Once the dough has risen, it is rolled out to a certain thickness and cut into various shapes, commonly squares or circles. Frying. The cut pieces of dough are deep fried in hot oil until they turn golden brown and puff up. The high heat causes the dough to expand 
creating a hollow center and a crispy exterior. Powdering. After frying, the beignets are typically drained on paper towels to remove excess oil. Then, they are dusted with powdered sugar or coated with other sweet toppings for added flavor. Serving. Beignets are best enjoyed fresh and warm. They are often served in batches and can be eaten as they are or accompanied by a hot beverage like coffee or tea. Beignets are loved for their soft and pillowy interior, paired with the delightful crispiness on the outside. Their sweet and indulgent nature makes them a favorite treat for special occasions, holidays, and as a comforting snack any time of the day. In Gabon and other African countries, beignets are a popular street food, often sold by local vendors and enjoyed by people of all ages. Fufu. A starchy side dish made from cassava, plantains, or yams, often served with soups or stews. Fufu is a traditional African dish made from starchy ingredients like cassava, plantains, yams, or cocoyam, taro. It is a staple food in many countries across West and Central Africa, including Gabon. Fufu is enjoyed as a side dish, often served with various soups, stews, and sauces. Here's an overview of how fufu is typically prepared. Choice of starchy ingredients. The choice of starchy ingredients for fufu can vary depending on regional preferences and availability. Common ingredients include cassava, also known as manioc or yuca, plantains, yams, and cocoyam. Preparation of the starchy base. The chosen starchy ingredient is peeled, cleaned, and cut into small pieces. It is then boiled until soft and tender. Pounding or mashing. Once the starchy ingredient is fully cooked, it is traditionally pounded or mashed using a large mortar and pestle. This process is physically demanding and requires skill to achieve a smooth and lump-free consistency. Kneading. After pounding or mashing, the fufu is kneaded by hand to create a soft and stretchy texture. The goal is to remove any lumps and ensure uniformity. Serving. Fufu is typically shaped into small balls or rounded portions and served alongside various soups, stews, or sauces. It is meant to be torn into small pieces and dipped into the accompanying dish. In some regions, especially in urban areas, fufu can also be prepared using pre-packaged fufu flour or instant fufu mixes, which require less effort and time for preparation. These versions still offer a similar texture and taste as the traditional pounded fufu. Fufu is a culturally significant and comforting food in African cuisine, often enjoyed during communal meals and special occasions. It is a versatile accompaniment, and its mild flavor complements a wide range of savory dishes, making it a beloved and integral part of the culinary traditions in Gabon and beyond. Fish and seafood. Freshly caught fish and seafood, often grilled, fried, or cooked in flavorful sauces. Fish and seafood play a significant role in the cuisine of Gabon, as the country's coastline and rivers provide an abundant source of fresh seafood. The diverse aquatic resources contribute to a variety of delicious and flavorful dishes that are loved by locals and visitors alike. Here are some popular fish and seafood dishes you might find in Gabon. Grilled fish. Freshly caught fish, such as tilapia, catfish, or sea bass, are often seasoned with herbs and spices then grilled over an open flame or charcoal for a smoky and delicious flavor. Fish soup. Fish soup is a common and comforting dish made with various fish varieties, simmered with vegetables and seasonings to create a flavorful broth. Maboki. Smoked fish or meat is a traditional Gabonese dish that involves preserving fish or meat by smoking it. The smoked fish is often served with spicy sauces or used as an ingredient in other dishes. Fish stews. Fish is cooked in savory stews with vegetables and spices, such as tomatoes, onions, garlic, and chili peppers. Seafood saute. Shrimp, crab, or other shellfish are sautéed with onions, garlic, and spices to create a delectable seafood dish. Poisson salad. This dish consists of salted and dried fish that is rehydrated and cooked with tomatoes, onions, and peppers. Seafood couscous. Couscous is a popular dish in Gabon and it is often served with a variety of seafood for a hearty and flavorful meal. Fish and plantains. Fresh fish is often paired with fried or roasted plantains for a delicious combination of flavors and textures. Seafood fritters. Shrimp or fish fritters are made by combining minced seafood with spices and deep frying until golden and crispy. Grilled prawns. Large prawns or shrimp are marinated with spices and grilled to perfection. Fish and seafood dishes in Gabon are typically prepared with a mix of traditional African flavors and influences from French and Portuguese cuisines, resulting in a unique and mouthwatering culinary experience. 
Whether enjoyed in coastal cities or inland regions, these dishes showcase the rich and diverse marine resources that are an essential part of Gabonese cuisine.